Overeating, gluttony, right? We don't we don't talk about the glut the gluttony. We talk about the weed, the alcohol, the vaping, but y'all ain't talking about food that's killing you. You are you're an agent of Satan because there's no way you can call yourself a Christian and vote for democratic policies, or excuse me, policies that are proposed or enacted by Democrats and supported by Democrats. You are going to hell. The reason why you can say that is because you want people to join you in hell. Why? Because you think that your lifestyle that may not have been that was not as bad as those in the alphabet community. We don't go to hell because of our sin. We go to hell because we reject Jesus Christ. So there has been a number of questions from people asking why am I posting political content on a Christian YouTube channel? The channel is called For His Glory Lifestyle. A lifestyle for a born again believer is not just in the four walls of a church. Their lifestyle, their existence is that of a born again lover and follower of their savior and Lord Jesus Christ. As Christians, born again Christians, and I keep saying born again Christians because there are people here in the United States who call themselves Christians only because that's the United States thing to do, especially in the South. Right. Everybody in Texas is a Christian. Everybody in Texas, Louisiana, Georgia, Christians, but their lifestyle is antithetical to what the, the Bible says. But that's not the purpose of this video. There were a number of questions that I got concerning, number one, why talk about political events? Christians shouldn't be involved in politics. They shouldn't bring their religion into the political arena. Well, if you can take your religion out of the political arena, that is fine. But when we are born again Christians, we cannot take ourselves out of being born again because we were made new in Jesus Christ. We move and have our being in him for him and him alone. So that's number one. Number two, for those, again, I'll say so-called Christians who had asked sent a message or posted a um, comment, wanted to understand, well, why are you supporting Biden? There is nowhere in any of those videos where I was supporting Biden. Why are you supporting Trump? He's not a Christian. Uh, here's the thing. As born again believers, we are to engage in the electoral process where we vote for the person whose policies align most with our biblical principles, not, excuse me, our biblical principles, with biblical principles that we as born again believers in Jesus Christ live by. So if you have a candidate or even the current incumbent proposing and drafting policies or rather approving policies where they want to unalive babies, then if you voted for this person, you are not a born again Christian. There are some pastors and ministers and other people who have been saying online, oh, well, let me, let me do, let me be extra dramatic with, with the mic. Oh, well, you can't call, you can't say because they are Democrat that they are not Christians. Oh, no, I'm saying it. Because you cannot tell me that you as a born again believer in Jesus Christ or believer in not or believer in God who created men and women, you will support policies to be passed where children can go to a doctor in order to get castrated. You cannot tell me that those people who are voting for those policies are Christians. Actually, you can tell me. But then I'll just have to respond to your comment or even your email that you sent saying, uh, no, you're, you're an agent of Satan because there's no way you can call yourself a Christian and vote for democratic policies or excuse me, policies that are proposed or enacted by Democrats and supported by Democrats. On the other side of that, if you call yourself a Republican or you thought that I was a Republican because Republicans, you know, they are for, you know, conservative, they have conservative values. Well, here's the thing. You cannot be a Freemason, which I found most Republicans are. When I say most, let me let me step back to be clear. I did research and looked at the different individuals in the Republican Party, senators, congresspeople, as well as those who are or who were presidents. As a side note from what I found in research, Donald J. Trump, not a Freemason. 
too much pride to, to be bowing down to some I idol, right? But with the Republican Party, you propose to be Christians, but yet you have behavior. Your behavior, your lifestyle, right, is antithetical to Christ. But here's the thing. I'm not inviting senators and Congress people and the president, if they want to come to my house, they can. Well, no, you're not coming to my house. If we're going to meet somewhere to have a conversation, we can. But you cannot say that you are a follower of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the anointed one, the Messiah, and live a lifestyle again that's antithetical to what God requires of us who he calls his children. You are not a child of God. Everyone who's born are not children of God. You become a child of God when you are born of God, born of water and of spirit. Not because your pastor told you you're a Christian, not because your mama or your daddy or your praying grandmama said, oh, you're, you're going to serve the Lord one day. You are grandmama called or parents or pastor called, but have you called to the ministry or even called as a Christian into business, politics, entertainment, whatever it is, you must be born of water and spirit. So that's part one. The other part of this is people have asked, well, you know, people in the alphabet community, they're destined for hell. They can't repent. They, they, you know, they're just deceived, all of that. Well, here's the thing. Any lifestyle that is against the way God has called his people to live is a person who's in sin. People in the alphabet community, they're not just in sin. The Bible says that we were all darkness. That's Ephesians chapter five, verse eight. That says you were once darkness before you became a child of the light or children of the light, depending on what version you're reading. So for people to say, oh, you know, the people in the alphabet community, you know, they're going to hell. Well, no, you are going to hell. The reason why you can say that is because you want people to join you in hell. Why? Because you think that your lifestyle that may not have been that was, was not as bad as those in the alphabet community. Here's the thing. We don't go to hell because of our sin. We go to hell because we reject Jesus Christ. And when I say we, meaning humans, right? We bo born in the image of God, because everyone who was made was made in the image of God and made through Jesus Christ. That is in John chapter one. And again, I'll post when I say again, I'll post the scriptures in the description area for this video. But every single person has an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ. How? You receive the conviction of the Holy Spirit, that you are a person who is living outside of the will of God for your life. And when I say outside of the will of God, some people will say, well, God, everybody's not going to heaven. Yes, you're right. Everybody's not going to be in the kingdom of God. Why? Because everyone who has an opportunity to hear the gospel and every single person has an opportunity to hear the gospel, may it be preached to them by someone who goes to preach to them in the natural or they can have a supernatural encounter with Jesus Christ. And then they say, no, I have met people who had a dream. Jesus came to them in a dream and answered their questions, mostly in Muslim nations, wanting to know who's God, who's the Messiah. Is Jesus Christ really who he says he is? And then I meet those people or they have testimonies of having those dreams and then meeting someone else to come and tell them. Yes, the dream you had, I'm agree I'm letting you know the dream you had was yes, of Jesus the Messiah and they fall to their knees realizing that they are in sin, they're in darkness and they receive Jesus Christ and they're born again. And here's the thing, we as born again believers, we save no one. We are to preach, proclaim the good news. The good news is is that every single person has born in was born in sin. However, Jesus Christ came to set who? Us free, the captive free. We were captive to sin and death. But when you hear the gospel, you have an opportunity to say, I, I want to know who this Jesus is you're talking about. Or I don't want to have nothing to do with the Jesus you're talking about because you like your sin. And the sin, again, the sin isn't just the alphabet community. If you are a liar, cheater, murderer, fornicator, adulterer, God calls all of that sin. Let me explain. When you are in the devil's kingdom, because if you're not born again, you're in the devil's kingdom. There's no two ways about it. People have said, oh, so you're saying my grandmother's in hell? 
Well, if your grandmother didn't receive Jesus Christ yet, mm, yes, yeah, she is. Because your grandmother who passed away at 80 and 90 had an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ, but she wanted to continue practicing witchcraft and voodoo and, and wanted to continue being a Sangoma and practicing Santeria and all those other things because she felt as though that she wanted to engage in those activities, calling up demons and getting money for it. But I digress. What is sin? Sin is described in 1 John, and I'm going to read it to make sure everybody is 100% clear and I don't miss anything. Sin is described in 1 John 3 and 4 as a transgression of God's spiritual law. Now, the thing is, how can a person transgress against God's spiritual law if they're not born again? Wait for it. We're going to get there. The passage in 1 John 3, 4 reads, whosoever commits sin transgresses against the law for sin is the transgression of the law. So one who commits a sin violates and disobeys the will of God as revealed in the Bible. But here's the thing. If you don't have a Bible, if you can't read, how are you transgressing against God's spiritual law? Well, we're all made. We all have a soul. We all have a body and we all have a spirit. First John I'm going to read it. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Who's the he? Jesus. Through him, Jesus, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was life of all, light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. No matter how wicked you are, you were made through Jesus Christ because the Bible says Jesus Christ was crucified before the foundation of the world. And if he was crucified before the foundation of the world and he was crucified before you came into the world, that means you were made through a crucified Jesus. That is why the Bible says we're without excuse. Man is without excuse when they reject Jesus Christ, because even a child, when they do something wrong, they know it's wrong. People are like, how does a child even know it's wrong? Matter of fact, when you see some of these videos that friends who love dogs send me, when a dog does something wrong, they, the, they know they've done something wrong. So if a child knows they've done something wrong, it's because it's the spirit that they've been made through, which is Jesus Christ, Right that gives them a conscience that lets them know they've done something wrong. So when you meet someone who's sharing with you that number one, lying and cheating and fornication and sleeping around and doing drugs, smoking weed, getting drunk, all of that, overeating, gluttony, right? We don't, we don't talk about the, glut, the gluttony. We talk about the weed, the alcohol, the vaping, but y'all ain't talking about food that's killing you. Every single person has an opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as their Savior and Lord. Why do I say Savior, Lord? In the United States, they say Lord and Savior. But here's the thing. Jesus Christ saves you, presents you with an opportunity to be saved, and you he then becomes your Lord. But you also have an opportunity to say, no, you don't want Jesus. You don't want to spend eternity with Jesus. God, the God of the Bible, by the way. And when I say God of the Bible, I'm talking about Elohim Yahweh, right? I'm not talking about the God that you see people serving in a number of the churches that I've seen online or even walked into and then walked right out because they're not serving Jesus Christ. They're not serving a holy God. They're serving themselves and the, their father, which is Satan. So what is the purpose of this video? The purpose is there will be videos on this channel talking about economic issues, political, social, environmental issues. Let me just say this as far as environmental issue. There's only one environmental issue that we have to be concerned with with the future. And that environmental issue is God said that he will not destroy the earth again with water. However, the Bible does say that it will be destroyed with fire, that it will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will remain the same. The earth is going to go away, but it's not because what we do to it is because God's promise as it relates to his word and what's going to happen to this earth. That's the only thing I have to say about environmentalists. 
or people who stop cars on highways because they think their body is going to stop a car from going, the person driving the car going to work, but yet that person who had to get to that highway or get to that location had to take a mode of transportation. That's a whole nother story. My point is, for His Glory Lifestyle, this channel is for God's glory and the lifestyle that we are born again Christians are supposed to live. And that means speaking against what is being purported in the culture, which is antithetical to who God says he is and how we are to be as we raise our kids, as we have our relationships with our husband or wife, not husband and wife, because you're not supposed to have both. But I digress. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to put comments in the comment area or send an email. And yes, there's an email that is monitored and we do respond to emails. Thank you for your time. For His Glory, Lifestyle. Bye.